How is it all? Okay, as long as the cats aren't going to be bumping in my camera. I hear you, little girl. Okay. You going to come sit over here for a minute? You going to sit on the books? How you doing? No sound? Can you hear me now? Is your volume on? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hi there, light and laughter. How you doing? Got a little bit of a glare from the overhead, but we'll we'll work with it. Let's see. Let's turn the camera down just a bit. Cats are both in here. I'll have to I'll have to run them out in a little bit. Hi, Pacola. Thanks, Pacola. You're awesome. You're the, you're just you're an awesome mod. Just saying. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna do a little altered. I thought maybe we would do a Christmas altered castle. Hey, wee hootie. How's everybody doing this Monday? Hope you can hear me okay. Um, did you? Yes, I. <laughs> Thank you, Pacola. Yes, I turned off the overhead light. <laughs> what is it, little princess? She's just laying over here to the side right now. So, <laughs> hi, newbie Cheryl. So yeah, I've been doing uh, getting getting. Um, I call I call them Patreons. They're not. It's not an official Patreon, but those that support the channel getting all those things ready to send out this week. Um, so been doing that. Hi, Nina Beaner. Nina Beaner. So doing that. Uh, what else did I do over the weekend? I did go to the bookstore. Uh, bought books a Million had all comic books, $1. I, didn't, I bought a few. I didn't buy a lot. And the only reason, the ones I bought were strictly based on the cover art. <laughs> Well, most of them I never heard of, don't know the stories. Uh, some were from 2018, some from 2017. <coughs> Where's my phone here? I got it plugged in. Got to charge, charge this baby up. But I'll show you the picture I posted on Twitter. Um, so, yeah, here's, oh, let me turn down the lighting. Here's the... This was the scene in Barnes, I mean, Books a Million. So let's go this way. All comic books, a dollar or less. So they have, they have it broke up by DC, Marvel, and then just general comics down at the end. So all comics were, um, I don't know if they're going to, you know, it was kind of crowded. I didn't get a chance to ask people. So I don't know if they're going to. They're just trying to get rid of the older ones, which I, I'm kind of thinking that's the case. <coughs> they have a big selection. I mean, they have a big section in their store of comics, graphic novels, you know, pops. Um, they have a lot of stuff that is just, you know, it's a big section, you know, especially through Christmas, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I don't imagine they're getting rid of it. They're probably just getting rid of the old stuff. You like a oh good painty girl. You like abandoned book day. Good. Hi Siren. Class in about an hour. Okay. Yeah, I, I'll you know I usually stream till you know sometime. Of, hi Janet. Uh, you know twelve or between twelve and one. Janet comes on at one. Jean usually comes on at four. So it's a full day of streamers. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Elena. Karen. 
Anybody else, Pam? Let's see. Who else am I missing? I'm sure I'm missing some people coming in. Thanks, everybody. Hi, AJ. So if you're watching this recording, um, which can take sometimes an hour to, to fully render after it's over because it's long, and um, if you don't want to hear the chat and the good mornings and the howdy do's and what you're doing and howdy, then just fast forward. <laughs> Uh, okay, Nina Beaner. <laughs> Just slide that little bar. <clears throat> so, yeah, both the cats are roaming in and out. Here comes little Malibu right there. Most of the pan pastel is now out of her fur. I think between the two of them, they licked her clean. <laughs> I tried to take a baby wipe, you know, that right after the show, I tried to take a baby wipe to her tail. And, and the red was just rubbing down. It was her tail was turning more and more red. So I just said, yeah, I better just let, you know, let it be. I would love to draw your cats. Oh, <laughs> um, I don't know if I have pictures of their faces. I mean, I did them all for, I did them for 31 days on Inktober. I used them and did them as cartoon characters and in costume. That's what I did. It's all on my Instagram. Yeah, so I used them for 31 days of inspiration. I called it Cats in Calligraphy. <laughs> hi, Creative and Happy. I forgot where you are, Creative. Are you in Germany? All right, look, move your little butt there, girl. Move your little butt. <clears throat> hi, Julie Topaz. Happy Monday. Am I talking too loud, guys? And the camera's kind of wiggly because the cat keeps bumping into the cords. But hi, Lynn. I tried so hard to get through Inktober, but it didn't happen. Hi, Darla. Yeah, I, I when I tell everybody that, you know, oh, let's all do Inktober. And then if I don't do it, you know, I have to do it. I, You know, <laughs> I just, I don't like to say I'm going to do something and then not do it. It happens occasionally, but what do you, oh, you want your, oh, she brought me, a, she brought me one of her little toys, one of her little fish. She wants me to throw it. You want, you want me to throw that? There she goes. Okay. That, that's not going to work again. <laughs> okay. Come over here, baby girl. Bring it over here. Don't come up on the desk. Come here. Bring it here. You didn't bring it to me. She wants to put bring it to me up on the table, but then when she jumps off to go chase it, the whole thing jiggles. Germany, have a day off and be here. Oh, okay, yay. Elaine, let's see who else am I missing? Darla, I'm sure I'm missing people coming in. Natalie, thanks everybody. Oh, it's just really stressful during October. Yeah. Well, thanks for being here. Yeah, the camera's going to jiggle if she's up here. So just like be patient till I run them out of the room. Once I get out the matte medium, I do not want her sitting in the matte medium. I'd never get that out of her fur. Baby girl, I, I know right, you want mama to throw. Put your, give me your hand. She always puts her little paw on top of my hand. But now it's caught in her foot. She's got it caught. There it goes. All right. So you, you want mama to throw? Huh? Give it here. Give it here. Oh, careful. Don't get me. Don't get me. You want mama to throw? I can't throw it through there, baby. You have to go dive right through my camera cord, my microphone cord, my computer cord. You can't go through there, which is that's the way to the door. And she'd have to go in between everything. <laughs> Hi, Eileen. Our enabler elf. Hi, Louise. I'm sure. Hey, Barbara. Good morning, everybody. <coughs> Yeah, she wants me to throw it, but if I throw it out the door, she has to dive through all my cords. That's not good. <laughs> uh, hi, Vicki. Hi, Deborah. I know. She's adorable. She's adorable. How about you just lay here and let me pet you for a minute? Hmm? How about you just let me pet you instead of going diving for your... Oh, you're going to take it with you? Okay, well, if you come down here, come on. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi, Ma uh, Maxi. Anybody else coming in I missed? Thanks for being here. Hi, Dawn. I haven't heard from uh, 
Terry trouble over the weekend. I don't know if she's still wired up. And I mean, oh, here she comes through my cords. And I mean that by not wired up as in, you know, physically. I mean, she's physically has wires on her for her sleep, her sleep studies. <laughs> okay, baby, you're going to have to go out now. Come on, I'll throw the, I'll throw it down here for you. No, I hate to do that, but I can't do anything with her um, messing with my cords or getting into my uh, matte medium in a minute. Yeah, she's literally wired up with wires. Yeah. <laughs> Called her Mr. Roboto. <laughs> uh, so, hi, Mitzi. Hi, Dot. Dot, I peeled you off another um, acrylic skin this morning off my, <laughs> I pulled a uh, new, uh, one of my uh, trays out because I'm going to do some abandoned altered book. And so one of the a nice new piece of acrylic skin for you, I'll probably just send you a couple at a time and hope they don't melt together. Maybe I'll put a piece of, I don't know, what could I, parchment paper between them? Hi, Teresa. Hi, Dawn. So I've been getting things together for um, thank yous to send out. You're in the fr frozen, oh, I got the hiccups. Frozen tundra, Teresa. I don't know. How can uh, gargling with uh, mouthwash give you the hiccups? I don't know, but it did. Let's see. Well, I guess I've said hi to everybody. Don't forget, everybody, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up if you're here. You can give me a thumbs down if you want, but, you know. <laughs> give me one or the other. <laughs> Playing with your new glitter pins. Uh, did you get those pins, Lynn? Aren't they good? Yeah, the ones that... Um, uh, Jeannie sent me, designed by Jeannie. Yeah, I really like them. I use, I'm i using them on top of stuff, you know. It, I don't really color tiny little things very often in color books, like I did the little um, the little jewels on that uh, green girl. But, you know, for the most part, I don't do mandalas or tiny bits. So I like them on top of things. Hi, Scoobs. I didn't show the paint today. Oh, did Scoops? Oh, you're going to show paint today. Oh, yeah, that's right. Scoops sent you some paint. Okay. Yeah, Janet's got a little, um, she got some paints from Scoops. She's going to show that. Hi, Holly D. Um, lost sound, just as you were speaking to me. Um, I'm here. I'm, I don't know, Dot. Can you hear me now? I don't know if you can hear me now. You have the Lost City bo book. Woke up my computer is plugged in all night, but no power. Oh, oh I'm sorry, newbie, Cheryl. Did your power go out where you are? I mean, like, um, hi, Vicky Lowe. I'll show you these pins right here. <clears throat> these gel pins. You brands. They're, they're not expensive. They're budget-friendly gel pins. You can get them on Amazon. Hi, Judy. You can hear me now? Okay. So, yeah, I got, uh, there's the glitter ones. You can see the glitter. There's these glitter ones. There's three just red, black, and um, blue regular ones. And then these are fluorescent and pastel. And, the, and they really works well. You know, sometimes white gel pens you know, don't work very well, but that one worked well. Hi, Robin loves reading. <clears throat> yeah, I got my gorgeous call. Oh, you got your picture. You're welcome. Oh, I'm glad you got it. Do you like it? <clears throat> I like to hear when people get their happy mail. So I know. Otherwise, I'm just thinking, you know, did it make it? Do they, did they not saying that it didn't get there or what? Yeah. So I like hearing when people get their happy mail so I know that it made it. So, yeah, this is from uh, Designs by Jeannie. She sent it. But you can get these uh, on on uh, Amazon. 
You're welcome. I'm glad you like it, Robin. Um, who else? Linda. Hi, Linda. <clears throat> I zero gravity. <laughs> Got your email, but went straight out of town for the weekend. Oh, okay. Okay, zero. Oh, uh, thanks, guys. And um, anytime y'all uh, get helped by your mods, you know, be be uh, appreciative of them. They, uh, they have the best mods. The best mods. Hi, Joni. So be a part of this community. Oh, well, good, Joni. Welcome. All right, guys. Well, I guess we can get started. So we're going to do, all right, so what I did, and I know most people have seen these books a zillion times, so I just picked out a few out of abandoned places because that has the most in it. I'm working in seven different books. Let me zoom in. I'm working on seven different abandoned books, and I'm not going to pull them all out and show them to you now, uh, but what I did, I'm going to work in abandoned castles, and I've already got a, uh, one of the, I have a couple options, but I kind of already know which one I'm going to work in. But I just thought I would show you some of my finished ones, which I do have marked in here. Just so if you've never seen abandoned, well, any kind of altered book. If you've never seen any kind of altered book. And guys, if you want to talk to me, either put my name in caps or at Dee Dee Willingham so it comes up in yellow for me. Or red, I think. Comes up in red. Either one. Caps or at my, in my full name there. And it'll uh, put a put me in a, in a spotlight. <laughs> so I know you're talking to me. And, uh, and while I'm working, guys, if you ask me a question and I don't see it, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just not constantly reading chat and it does go by pretty fast. So um, yeah. I love, don't you just like saying Nina Beaner, everybody to them out, out loud right now in your house, go Nina Beaner. I mean, she can't hear you, but it just sounds cool to say. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Linda. Okay. So uh, I'll show you. I've got some bookmarked here of finished pages, and some I varnished. They will eventually all be varnished. So some are varnished and some are not. Uh <laughs> So I just put little uh, post-its on the one. This one is almost finished. I, I, if I almost finished it, I have a, a one on here too. But especially the ones that are finished, right? <clears throat> this one, I think I want a few more stars down here, like reflective stars from the... Uh, oh, maybe I need to prop that up just, a, just an inch. <clears throat> get, I have a few books sitting over here just... Um, just enough to prop it up just to take the glare off. There we go. So, uh, yeah, I have a few that most, so like this one's done, but it's not varnished. And it's going to probably want to go light, dark, light, dark. I don't know if I will work in the book. The pictures are so outstanding. I know, newbie. And you know what? The solution is that. <laughs> I hate to say it, but you know what the solution is that? You buy two. <laughs> You get two, one to look at and one to uh, not touch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. And, and also, guys, don't forget, and I say this all the time, whenever, if you get you a book that you want to alter, make sure, it doesn't have to be abandoned places or abandoned civilizations, abandoned things, abandoned books. Get you a topic, a subject that you like because if you don't like the topic, if you don't like, if, if abandoned places, you know, a lot of people think it makes them sad to see that. that. See, I like to just reinvent it and make it happy. <laughs> so, um, you know, if you don't like, if you don't like abandoned things, then get you a book of, of architecture, uh, a travel book to a country, a city that you like. Uh, you know, get a book that you're going to enjoy spending probably some years on. You know, I've got, I'm working in seven of them. So it's going to take me years to finish them because I'm not just working in one. I'm working in multiples. 
Hi, Susan. How you doing? <clears throat> so I'm just flipping through my abandoned, um, abandoned places where the pages I have finished or nearly finished. Hi, Jen. Reading with pugs. How you doing? Let's see here. Let's get to the next one. This one was four pictures. Uh, some of the pages in the book have four separate individual photographs. And uh, on this one, I did um, how to blend it all together to make it look like one cohesive world. Okay, Janet, go feed the cat. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> so, and this one's varnished. This one's done and varnished. So, yeah, like this one. Uh, the one I picked in Abandoned Castles has a similar kind of format to this one that I'm going to do. And I'm going to try to do, hi, Katrina. Hi, Norma. Good to see you. I'm Norma uh, Bran Branson Limo. It's She's busy with her limo, so she hasn't had a lot of time to be at the, at the stream. So it's good to see you anytime you can pop in, Norma. And uh, so, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, I want to do a Christmas, something Christmas today. I'm thinking, you know, it's the first, my first stream of December. And um, then I've also got a couple color books I want to work in on December. Christmas color books, one Jen sent me. So I want to work in that. Um, let's see the next one here. I went through and bookmarked them so that it would be easy to flip through today. Rather than flipping through the whole book, I'm just flipping through the pages. And again, it's a little... See, it's a little flashed out. That's really quite black. There we go. See, but it's all right. We're gonna we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna roll with it. This one's done in varnish. So you see when they're varnished. <clears throat> yep, I'm gonna do something something Christmas. I mean, I have kind of an idea in my head, but you know, it's all there's nothing really planned out. Why do you varnish? No, because it looks good. <laughs> Because it looks nice varnished when the pages are all varnished. It looks so, so nice and complete. And I just like the way it looks. So, yeah. Yes, I know. I love these books. I love me some abandoned books. And, uh, yeah. I sent, I y'all know I sent a, a double page spread. I took, I, no, it was, a, no, it wasn't a double page. It was, it was just one page out of Abandoned Castles. And I sent it to Kieran, Kieran Connolly. And I follow him on Facebook. And he's always so nice. Um, this one's varnished. He's always so nice every time I tweet out uh, pictures of his book <laughs> that we've, we've altered. Um, yeah, it's good to have you here, Norma. So this one. I love them all. I love all my pages. I love my, I love creating these new worlds. You can create your own worlds in your books. <clears throat> this is all paint. All that's paint. Um, I'll probably do something else on this page, but this one. Uh, do I have? Okay, that's all the completely finished ones or almost finished ones. And that's in Abandoned Places. And then I've been working in Abandoned Civilizations. And then here's Abandoned Castles. I should show you a couple of Abandoned, abandoned Civilizations. That I, can, I I can I do have two of these. And I can show you what's finished and what's not in this one. I mean, one, compare the two. So I don't have a lot done in Abandoned Castles. But let's see here. This one is the one I think... Well, no, I think I, I decided on another one. I thought about doing this one into Christmas, but I think this is the one I'm going to do. So I think we're going to work on this today. We're going to make this a Christmas a Christmas page. Did you invent the tech? Um, well, I call it reverse collage. I'm the first person I know that started calling it reverse collage when we started doing this kind of technique in a book on the show 
uh, about seven years ago, maybe eight years ago. I didn't invent collage, obviously. <laughs> I didn't invent collage. But I, I, I am the first person I saw. I'm not saying that's the first person that ever used paint and collage and blacking out uh, books. I, but I, I don't know. You know, there might be a lot of people that have done it, and I just don't know. I started doing it about the reverse collage, I've, I've done collage for a long, long time, but reverse collage where you black out altered books, <clears throat> I started doing that about seven years ago. So, that I remember, it could be far, it could be longer, but, you know, I just, I've called it that because that's what it is. So this is, um, this is the page we did last time, I think. This was the last one we did. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Penny girl. Christmas theme. So I don't know. Probably no, no reindeer. I probably won't be painting any reindeer, but you never know. Hi, G. So this one is um, this one is the last one we did. I really, I really like the way it turned out. The only thing is, is I usually don't put anything uh, textury on it. This has some uh, old stencil bits. These are pieces of old stencil, so it's actually textury, you know. Um, but it kind of works. So. Yes, I do. Ornaments will be in it, Nina Beaner. I did plan that out. I don't know where it is right here. But I did plan out some ornaments and Christmas trees and stars. But <laughs> other than that, I really don't have too much other... Um, yeah, so this one's done and varnished, so you can see that. So we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see. Let's see. Let's go to the next one that's done. No, this one, Oh, this is the other one I thought I would do today, but no, I'm going to go I'm going to go with that other one. This one's done. And uh, we just painted a bunch of little angel fish on that. Let's see, the next one. Oh, this was another one I thought about using today. So I think some of these are just ones I wanted to use. Here's one that's done. This one here. And do I have one more? Oh, this one's in progress. So you can see where I've already started painting things out on this one. Okay, so I think we will go with um, we'll go with this one over here. We're gonna go with this. Oh, and I did work. I did when I'm when I was uh, sitting here working on one of the pages one day. That some see, I got a lot in progress here. I said I'm gonna. Um, I got an idea for my monk. You know, my monk mail story. So I put a little monk in one. I don't know if it's in this one book or not. I thought it was. I started painting a little story and I hadn't really tried to do that before in this book, but I started painting a little, here we go. So I started painting this story. <clears throat> so I painted in the little monk here and uh, a little, a little girl over here standing on the precipice of time. So yeah, there's a there's a preview for my story. Uh, there's a, there's a there's a story preview of my uh, shorts. Well, I don't. I I think I'm gonna do nine short stories into one thing, but uh, yeah. Anyway, that's there's a little preview. Okay, so let's go to the page here. This is the page I want to work on. But before I do that, real quick, let me move this to the side. <clears throat> no wait, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need. I need my template today to make ornaments. So in Abandoned Civilizations, I won't go through the whole book here either because I've done I've done quite a few in here. But I'll show you. Let's let's get to a couple where I've done some extensiveness. So like this one, I'm gonna put the, the Sphinx underwater. Hi, Magic Windsor. Oh, thank you, Geo. Um, zero. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Let me find uh, a couple pages. I got a lot that have partially done, but I want to try to find a couple that I've done just so. 
We got to get back to this one. She's just floating there. <laughs> now I'm going to have to put some red, yellow, and blue um, color on her. Like this is uh, like this is Malibu after she got into the uh, <laughs> the pan pastels. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let me. Oh, there's another cat one that's in progress. Um, I'm trying to find. I know I have a couple in here that are done. Let's see. They're all. They have a lot of cats in this one. Okay, so like this one. Let me find the equivalent in the non-touched book. Where, what did I do with it? Where's my other abandoned civilization? Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Oh my gosh. All right. They're attached. Okay. <laughs> Get under here. Okay. So I'm not sure what page number this is, like what, 96 or 7. Let's try to get over there. So the nice thing about having two books is you can have the two different ones. Where is it? I did have a post-it note on. Okay, so this is what this one started out as. Thank you, Kimberly. Thanks, Katrina. I know we all love the flying cats, right? So this is what this started out as, and this is what we turned it into. Okay, let's see what else we got here. I'm going to try to just find the finished ones, because we do have a lot of cats going on. <laughs> Uh, multiple pages in progress. Let's see. Mm. That one's got some started on it. Okay, this one, let's see what kind of page number, somewhere around 144, 45. <clears throat> okay, so this one, we just had this, and we didn't do a lot to it. Cat silhouette. Santa had on a cat. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, yeah, but I'm not working on the cat, these cat ones today. Um, let's see. But that would be a that would be a good one too. All right, let's see. Because I got cats on, you know, a lot of the pages. <laughs> see? Um, okay, and then this one, I do have varnish. It's like 208. It's toward the back. It's on my Easter Island. Okay, so this is what this one started out as. Yes, flying cats, Katrina. <laughs> so here's uh, the original Easter Island. And... Uh, uh, I know, Nina, it goes, the chat does go by fast. And then this is what we turned it into. And I do have this one varnished. So I love, I really love this page. Uh, I had fun doing it. Uh, we used a bunch of leftover stickers. No, is this the one? No, we, no, this one had a, no, this wasn't the stickers. This was the stained glass <clears throat> to make like a uh, underlying, uh, something going on under the water so i think i think that's all i've got done in here in these two books Can you find my staples coupon real quick? uh for ink yeah. there is isn't. there's no staple coupons for ink sorry honey they don't give you coupons for ink right. yeah <laughs> hubster's ordering some ink he asked do you have any staple coupons for ink uh, they don't give you coupons for ink that's about the only thing they don't give you sales on. Hi, Terry. There she is. Did you get unplugged, little Robotica? Miss Robotica? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I should be, instead of a cougar, I should be playing, uh, I should be playing something robotic. Let's see here. Do we have something robotic? What do we have here? I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the soundboard here. Let's see what we have. Um, do we have any? What do we have here? I mean, we have the cougar. Oh wait. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Darth Vader. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> so I've got Darth Vader for Terry and her sleep. <laughs> yes, it is Darth Vader, Terry. <laughs> But my grill lady is not opaque. Need uh, to somehow get my hands on America. Um, or just put two coats, creative. If it's not opaque enough, put two coats. Even a couple of coats, like red, lime green. I have to put two coats of some things, too. Yeah, even with the Americana, which is pretty opaque. But some colors, like lime green and red, they're not opaque. So you sometimes got to put two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, uh, calendars, old books, newbie Cheryl. Um, yeah, <laughs> a little everywhere. <laughs> okay, all right. Thanks, Siren. <laughs> okay, so this is the one I want to work on. And let's see if I if I move that book. Is it going to glare? Maybe not. All right, let me move my abandoned civilizations out of the way here. And, uh, yeah, um, so I'm thinking that I want to have Christmas ornaments. So I did paint, where are they? I do have a big tub of collage. So I've got some watches, clocks. I'm going to use this uh, calendar page of a, a Vincent Van Gogh painting. I think I'm going to cut trees out of this. And um, then I have a whole big bin of collage bits, which I'm going to have to make room for here. Put this to the side. And I painted a couple of pieces of paper with just red paint that I can cut uh, different shapes of ornaments out of these. That was the plan. That's as far as I got. <clears throat> so, hi, Susan. Anybody else I miss? The other Susan, Susan D. Okay, so. Hi, Jean M. Uh, happy Monday. Countdown to Christmas begins. Yes. <clears throat> it's actually the third, but I didn't stream over the weekend. So nice how they choose our stuff to. Oh, okay, I must not have uh, missed something. Okay, so. Uh, that's why I got out my template here. Whoops, sorry guys, I bumped the camera. So I can cut out some different size ornaments. But first I have to reverse collage this out. Which means getting out some... Let's see. Hang on guys. Over on the bookshelf, i got to find some um, wax paper. Do I have some already torn out? Or did I... There we go. So you want to put some wax paper behind your pages if you're going to paint all the way to the end because you don't want to glue your pages together with paint. Ask me how I know that that can happen. <laughs> uh, all right. So we'll see how this goes. There we go. All right, let's see. Let's get a, a couple of, uh, start with some um, black background. Oh, da, 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 da. This one's almost empty, I think. Look at those. Both of these are almost empty. I have to get out that big one. That may be enough. We'll see. I got a couple more, and I got that big jar, too. And then I need my baby wipes, which I go through a lot of baby wipes, especially when I'm doing the mixed media and any kind of collage. Um, Susan said her cat. Oh. Oh. Ew. Ew. I haven't had that happen yet. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I really want to get rid of everything but the castle. So let's go with the big brush because then I can. Sometimes I use my finger and um, and just you know get rid of get rid of it and start blending. 
Let me pull up my sleeves here. But since I'm getting rid of everything but the castle, I'll, I'm just going to go ahead and use a brush. Let me get it wet here. All right. And I'm going right off the edge, so that's why I want the uh, paper there. Once I get all the edges done, I can take get rid of the uh, wax paper. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Don't really have a lot of plans other than that I know I want trees, um, ornaments, and stars. That's that's all I have in my head. But where they go and how they go, I don't know yet. But it's always fun to play. It's fun to play. All right. So how many of y'all do any kind of, um, it doesn't have to necessarily be in a book, but have y'all played with altering a picture with collage and paint, reverse collaging? And other than baby wipes, a heat gun is really uh I won't say it's essential, but you're going to be there a long time if you don't have a heat gun. I'm going to get in some of those tiny places with a smaller brush. Or what are, what are you working on? Are you doing any kind of Christmas crafts or cards or I have to go watch Xander. I saw Xander did, I think she did Christmas cards. Eileen, is that what she did on Sunday night? I, I just saw um, Instagram post and Facebook post, but I haven't gone to see her video yet. <clears throat> so I'll get in there with a smaller brush and around these areas there. There's, look, that is not a person there. I don't think that's a person, but I it looks like it could be a person. So I think I'm going to make that a little person in there. All right, the rest of this I'll get with a smaller brush. All right, so let me dry this so my arm's not dragging through the black paint. All right, so I think I can remove the wax paper now. A Vogue magazine. Yeah, I, I love doing magazine journals. The only thing is, is like trying to do a whole lot like this in a in a magazine you are kind of fighting the thinness of the paper you know the the mag uh, fashion magazines are the thinnest they're also the less expensive but they are they can be a little tricky to do a book of it you're working in your abandoned castles um norma all right let's see yeah i've seen some of your work all right let's see let's get a small brush here all right let me dry this real quick heat gun oh good painty girl are you selling your light bulb your light bulb characters Amy Girl does some cute uh, characters with light bulbs. Grinch, Santa. She's on Instagram if y'all want to see. Are they selling well? They're so cute. She makes ornaments out of them. Yes. Okay, thanks, Siren.
Okay. Now I'm going to take and finish The brush is a little wet, so it's making the paint thin. Put another coat on it. Okay. It makes some of these turrets stand out a little more. The edge of the castle. You can reshape anything you want. And, um, yeah, the, that looks like a little person sitting there. I'm going to leave a little space there to put a little tiny person. Okay. And it's a little, let's see if I can get this to come back to mama. There we go. <clears throat> yes, y'all follow, follow Pink Girl. Eileen's working on her sweater sketch. But after seeing Cass's sketches, I may give up. Don't you give up, Eileen. Don't you dare give up. I know Kathy is an awesome artist, but that's no excuse. We're not letting you off the hook for that. You've been doing, you, you usually do all digi and for you to start drawing. Don't you dare stop. Yes, Kathy does set the bar high, but that doesn't mean you can't participate. Eileen, you enabler elf. Okay, so now I'm going to get some white. We're going to get a bucket of stars. <laughs> Don't make me call you out, girl. Don't make me call you out. Okay, so I'm going to put some white in there, add some water to it, and then I need a floppy brush, something that's... Something that's kind of floppy, you know. That one may not even be floppy enough. Let's see. Do I need something more floppy? I need floppy. Uh, well, I don't see another one right now, so we'll go with it. Okay, so I'm going to make a little bucket of stars here. Oops, see, it's a little, a little big there. Okay. Let me get a little more water. will be the background. That one's too much right there. That made that almost a planet. And my red balls are going to be planets. So we'll be nebulizing this up. Christmas trees. Yeah. Okay. And I can always add more. If I if I cover up somewhere I need some more stars, we can we can throw on more stars. <laughs> IKEA. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's move that water. Move the bucket of stars. Let's dry this. IKEA. And this does take a minute because the splatters are kind of thick. You know, even though you watered it down, they're still take a minute to dry. Jail pants since I'm lazy and haven't been to bed. You haven't been to bed yet, Nina? Nina Beaner. All right, everybody say it again. Nina Beaner. <laughs> Hi, Jackie. Good morning. I don't, that's a lot of Darla. Let's see who else. Some other people probably come in. Oh, 
Eileen can put a link into it. She's a mod. She can link herself. Link yourself up, Eileen. <laughs> oh my gosh. Eileen, I think it's only, I don't think she's on IG or Facebook. I think Eileen, well, maybe she's on Facebook. Uh, she's mostly on Twitter. We're working in abandoned castles. Now, some of those are still wet, so, um, yeah, so let's tilt it. There we go. So you can see it there. Let's see if I can get the black to come back. There we go. Kathy posted on Twitter but didn't use the hashtag. All right, let me go on. Let me go over here on Twitter, see what's going on. Let's go see what's going on over here, girls. Just saying. Let's see that sweater Eileen's griping about. <laughs> we don't want to say the B word, but she's <laughs> griping about. All right. Let's see here. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. I don't see a sweater. There's no sweater. What are you talking about? See, you have any sweater, Eileen? Okay, let's look at Kathy Cass here. I know she's got awesome. Let's see. Oh, are you talking about Kathy's sweater? Sketch a day. Okay, so this is our Kathy Cass. <clears throat> so there's the sweater that Eileen is jello over. There we go. Look at that. So that there's the sketch a day. For some reason, I thought y'all were doing shoes. Did y'all just make it? Is it not just shoes or is just that day with shoes? It's not just shoes every day. So today's day is, yeah, it's hashtag fib sketch a day. So it's all different things. Yeah, isn't that nice? So I guess it's something different every day. So that's Kathy's. Let's see what else she's got over here. Let's look in her media. Here's a shoe. Here's the one she did. Uh, I guess this was yesterday or the day before. Her little pug chew up a shoe. Okay, so I get it, Eileen. So it's shoes, then sweater, and then coat, then pants. So y'all are going to dress us with your, with your art. <laughs> okay, I got it. It's going to be anything Eileen tells us. She wants to rule the world. Okay. Oh, okay, Nina. Well, maybe do like Jean does when she's here. We put her to sleep. Just go to sleep, Nina. Lay back, girl. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. <laughs> night, night, Nina. Night, night. <laughs> Yeah, that is awesome. Yeah, I don't see Kathy here today, but yeah, that's awesome. Kathy's an art, awesome artist. Let me see if I can find her. Let me go to Facebook. It's not part of the of this this challenge, but let me see if I can find. Hang on, let me go over here. <laughs> okay, let me go over here. Let's see, Kathy Cass. Let's see, Kathy. Um, oh, probably won't be able to find her right off. Kathy. Uh, I thought, I think she spells it with a C. Why can't I find her? Where are you, Kathy? No, well, I think it's with a C, isn't it? Oh, here she is. It's what it is with a K, Kathy Arbor. Okay, let's see. Um, let me see if I can find this one picture. Well, she's done so, a couple of good ones here. This one is her Frankenstein. Wait for it, people. Wait for it. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, Kathy with the K, yeah. Look, there's her Frankenstein. I know, right, people? And what else does she have here? Oh, here's Bride of Frankenstein. It's not showing up very, there we go. 
I know, right? I know. Let's brag on our Kathy. What else has she done here? Um, this guy's from the... Now, I have not watched Game of Thrones, but I think this guy's from Game of Thrones. Am I right? Whoops. Wait a minute. Okay. I think he's Game of Thrones, right? Remember, I haven't watched Game of Thrones because I haven't read the book. No, I know. She is, Eileen. She's awesome. And she does have a YouTube channel, guys. Okay. So, yeah. She does have a YouTube channel. She looks like someone you know. <laughs> oh, Vikings. Vikings. Okay. Linda says from Vikings, not Game of Thrones. I've, Ivar the Boneless. Thank you, Terry. <laughs> Okay. All right. So I think we've got that kind of. All right. So I'm going to do a couple things. Like I said, I painted, I just painted some red acrylic paint on some paper. And I don't know what sizes I'm going to need. Let me get a pencil here. I'm not sure what sizes I'm going to need of um, ornaments to make planets and stacks of ornaments. What's her name? Uh, there, there we go. Uh, Janet just put a link to her channel right there. She's Kathy Arbor, Kathy with a K, but she goes by Kathy Cass uh, as her nickname. And, and here, here's the thing, guys. Uh, Jean, I mean, uh, Janet and Eileen, we need to get it. She does not have a Twitter face. She tweets with no face. She ne at least needs to put that Bride of Frankenstein in there. That Bride of Frankenstein would be an awesome Avi. We've got to get her to put that Pride of Frankenstein for her avatar. <laughs> That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? I'm telling you, that promote her channel, too, because that's an awesome thing. Okay, so I'm going to do some... Maybe I should do this with white pencil. I don't really see that very well. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to see that uh, not enough to cut it, so cut it out this way I can see it right I know it's perfect for the face right we need to y'all tell her next time you see her Kathy you need that Bride of Frankenstein for your avatar you really do <laughs> I don't know how many of these I'm going to need guys I I, I this hasn't that hasn't that plan hasn't formulated so I'm just going to cut out a bunch of them <laughs> uh. Some are going to be planets, and then I think I'm going to stack them up, you know. I probably need a couple of really big ones, like at least one that big. Maybe a couple this big. Maybe maybe one this big, and another one that big. And the rest, I need some small ones. I don't know. I don't know what size is yet, so let's make a few. And then some tinier ones here. If y'all need a cup of coffee while I cut these out, <laughs> feel free to grab some coffee right about now. Because, yeah, that this is a good time to go. I don't, I'm not going to use all these. I don't know how many I'm going to need. But I'm going to be prepared, you know. All right, so there we go. And, of course, we'll have to have at least one watch in there. This is a good one right here. That's a good watch right here. Oh, you received your cow. Oh, you got your cow in the mail? <laughs> Moo. <laughs> I'm glad you did, Great. <laughs> I like that one. And, oh, this one's good. Yeah, I mean, I'm finding three. This one. This one's a good one. I want, I want three different sizes. Okay, and then I'll need a smaller one. I have a small one. I'll have one out. I have to. This might, these are going to be my trees are going to be cut out of uh, Vincent. All right. I've got to find one more. Let me close this book a minute so I can get into my get into my pile. Oh, there go some watches. I don't really want a white one. I, I kind of want something in the gold. This one might be work. Okay. 
<clears throat> you got your piggy last week, Elaine. Yeah, I'm, it looks like everybody, or Elena, Alana. It looks like everybody's getting theirs. One went to um, Australia. I forget who's went to Australia. Was that you, Great? Who's went to Australia? Hopefully they get there everywhere they I sent them. Because the, the art was on the envelopes, you know. Okay, so there's one. That was you, great? Okay, good. So I made it to Australia. I tweeted Cass Didi and told her, good, yeah, let's get on her. Get on her. Okay. If y'all are on any kind of social media, Instagram, Facebook, well, Facebook, you, you know, usually everybody has a face, but um, Twitter, you know, you need a face. You need a face. I told her to do more streams too. That, oh yeah, we wish she would. All right, so let me. And these will probably be shaded or highlighted, right? I just need the shape. Okay. All right. Like I said, it's a good time to get some coffee. Or if you're watching the recording, just fast forward past all the cutting. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Catherine. So I can kind of read chat now. Like I can really glance over here. So if you all have anything you want to talk about or mention what you're doing promote something you've got going at Etsy for Christmas. Um, I don't know that the, well, you can't link an Etsy shop. You can't link a direct link. Only mods can. But if you do have an Etsy shop or, you know, something like that, if you want to put the name, just say Etsy and the name of your shop, you can do that. And then people can find you, right? Or whatever else you want to, Christmas promote. Norma, you want to promote your limo business? <laughs> Are you booked already? <laughs> oh. It's nice to see Norma when she can stop in when she's not overly uh, booked. When she's not booked. Norma's booked. I'm going to be quiet and lurk this morning because my daughter was up on that sick and oh, I'm sorry, Catherine. Okay, well, shh, 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 yes. Put, turn down the volume because you know I talk loud. I don't want any sudden outburst of uh, cougar growls or uh, Darth Vader. <laughs> uh, oh, well, oh, good. I'm glad your computer, yeah. Didn't you say your electricity went out though? Or is that electricity, as we say in the South? Did your electricity come back on, newbie Cheryl? <laughs> oh, there you go. Etsy, Faithful Mess. Sell books of washi tape. Oh, you know, I didn't even know that, Faithful. I've gone to a couple of your... I, I know you've you've been uh, working on your room um, and reorganizing and your videos and all that, but I did not know you had uh, washi tape books. No. So y'all, y'all grab that, Pacola. Oh, thank you, Pacola. I appreciate it. Yeah. If y'all want to super chat or um, if you want a PayPal tip jar, thank you, Pacola, for the links. I don't. I don't. It's in my description. My tip jar link is in the description box, like about me, like on YouTube where it says about. It's in there, but I don't put it on every single video. I figure if you want to if you want to tip me, you'll find it. <laughs> Hi, Galena. Galena, your card should be there today. 
we're me and Galena are tracking her uh, tracking her gift card. She has purchases she wants to make. Galena got the twenty five dollar Amazon gift card. She's already got an art book she wants to buy. <laughs> it should be there. So we thought it was going to be there Saturday, but there was a big note said because of California. Not that she's anywhere near California, but it could be delayed. So it's supposed to be here. Her card's supposed to be there today. So I'm excited for Galena to order her, uh, order her, um, her art book. You can't wait. I'll send you one. Do you want? I send your stamp. Oh, that's nice. Well, we'll show it off. We'll show it off, uh, faithful. Okay. Let's see. We're getting there, and I know I'm not going to need all these, but I want the options. I want options to layer them different ways. So, yeah, if I have lots, then I can, you know, have lots of options. I have no idea about the power, but at least it's able to come back to life. Good. You didn't, you didn't get the black screen of death, did you? Or did your the power go out all together? I mean, like in your whole house. And there's enough left to buy screen protectors for my phone. Oh, good. Whatever you want. So Janet got some new paints, I think, from Scoobs that she's going to show on her show today at 1. So y'all make sure and... If you can't, you know, go live, make sure you go watch her Her happy mail. I don't know what else she got. No telling with Janet. Janet and Eileen, they always have something, something new. It's hard to enable Janet with pens or pencils anymore because she has them all. Um, yeah. <laughs> read all of Ellis Peter's books. Oh, you did? You read all of Catfell? Rereading in 2019. I know I have to find them. I'm gonna have to either find them on the Nook. Well, either Kindle or Nook. I have the apps for both because I can't read the. They come in paperback. I, I don't think that unless you're a book, you know, unless you really go back to the 80s and hunt up book, you know, booksellers. Like I could probably ask Miss Rose. Oh, if she has any hardbacks of of the Cad Fail. Because um, I can't read paperbacks anymore. They're too tiny. And I don't enjoy reading on the Nook and uh, Kindle. I just like re real books. But I, that's why I, when I get the Harry Potters, I'm going to have to get the Harry Potters in the... I think they come in uh, large print too. Um, but the hardbacks themselves are pretty... They're big. They're big enough type to read the um, in the hardback. I just can't read the... Even the oversized, you know, the oversized paperback. They're not called paperbacks. Soft cover. Um, it's too tiny for me to read comfortably. I mean, I can I can read it. You know, I can read small type. But it's not comfortable to read it with my vision. Um, your library might have an e-book. Libby asks his family. It's easy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just don't enjoy reading on uh, if I don't have to. Read on uh, electronics. I will do it if I have to. I have a Nook. It's not even charged up. I haven't used it in for so long. I gave Cameron a Nook, you know, when he was about 10 for a birthday or Christmas present. He's 19 now. Um, and, like, within six months, yeah, I, I don't like it, Nana. I like real books. I, I can't do it. So he ended up giving it to a relative that you know wanted to read on but i still have my nook um i just don't <laughs> just don't use it hi becky <clears throat> you have the potter books yeah and i know they cut you can buy them in in sets and things i'm gonna try i'm gonna if y'all weren't here when i talked about it i know i'm probably one of the last people in the world that have never read or seen any harry potter other than you know clips and you know trailers and stuff like that but i've um, not read any harry potter books nor seen any of the movies and i don't want to see the movies until i read the book same for game of thrones i don't want to i don't want to see the movie 
or the series until I read the book. <laughs> and, uh, oh, okay, Cheryl, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah. And um, so I, I mentioned it last week. That I'm, I'm going to buy the first one, the first Harry Potter. I'm going to buy it. And I'm going to read it like the first chapter or two and then give my thoughts on it as I read it because I'm probably one of the only people that have never read it. So I want to read it and just give my opinion on it. What I, you know, I don't want to say a review, but I'll just kind of talk about what I think about it as I read it. Like, you know, maybe once, once a week or something, you know, I now it's going to be hard for me not to just, you know, read a chapter, stop. And wait till I can talk about it before I read chapter two. That, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> uh, how about Audible? Yeah, um, here's the thing. And yeah, Rick, uh, Jean, who has, Jean does all her books on Audible or one of, you know, one of the, the, uh, auto, uh, the uh, audio book sites apps or whatever because of her vision she only has 10 percent vision but um for me the problem i have with uh, audiobooks is somebody else's voice is in my head when i'm reading all my characters and everything they have their own voices in my head i mean that's what's true with everybody right don't you give your characters voices how they sound and everything and for someone to read to me it's, I think it would be disturbing <laughs> to have another, you know, another voice. I don't know. Okay, so here we go. So I got that. Now I want to, let's bring this back over here. I'm going to want trees. And what I'm, I'm going to use this, um, this bit of a calendar page of Vincent Van Gogh's. I don't know which, what the name of this is. Um, it's not the wheat field. What is it? No, it's not the farm. It's on a calendar, so I don't know what the, the original name is for this one. And I want to do trees. So, um, oh, what's wrong with Karen? Did I miss something? Is she okay? Yeah, every voice is different. Yeah, exactly, Faithful. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I love listening to podcasts and, and interview. I love all that. But a book, I wouldn't mind listening to nonfiction. Nonfiction, that's a whole, not, you know, somebody can read to me nonfiction all day. And, and I do read a lot of nonfiction, actually read more nonfiction these days than fiction. But to read a fic, you know, to hear fiction with a different, you know, voices, I don't know. It, it, it's, yeah. Oh, Karen's dad. Oh, I'm sorry, Karen. Okay, so um, the rare wild Heidi said the Harry Potter British audio book is brilliant with lots of voices. Yeah, but again, it's somebody else. It's not the voice in my head. Okay, thanks, Terry. Her dad's in surgery. Okay, y'all say a prayer for Karen for her dad. Okay, so I'm going to watch... I don't know. And and I will uh I will anything that's torn edges, I will paint that out right. But I'm thinking I want how let's see if I can get a couple. Let's see that size that so maybe it'd be just easier just to just to uh cut it, but I thought it would be more jaggedy like a real tree if I tore it. And then just try to just kind of shape it up. Oops. So maybe I need to make the shapes kind of pencil them in because I'm going to want them all. I want to, I'm going to have them getting bigger as they come down. Let's see. Maybe they don't need to be so fat. Maybe that's what it is. They don't need to be such. There we go. That's better. <clears throat> um.
See, I think I need to pencil them in just so I get all the shape, the sizes the way I want. Let's see if you get a thin marker. Okay, I'll just even do it on the back. It's all green, so it's not going to matter. Okay, so then I know I won. I need to put another one in between those two. So probably right there. Yeah. Maybe a couple littler ones. Okay. All right, so we'll see what the trees look like after we tear them out. <laughs> We're going to do it from the back. Real reverse here. Probably would have been easier just to tear straight from the page. Um, spreadsheet finished for our Christmas shopping network. We're going to put smiles on the face of nearly 100 special needs kids at our party. Oh, that's awesome, Julie. That's awesome. Okay, let's see what our trees look like after we tear them out. Get a couple smaller ones than those. Let's see. I'm trying to get them in size order here. Okay. Everybody still with the tour? <laughs> get me a couple boxes of cards all the you know the craft stores are Hobby Lobby which is right down the street has you know everything's 50% off time to go get a couple boxes of cards get crack a lacking that one looks a little crooked but it fits on top and that's okay And then we're going to start gluing and painting and whatnot. And <laughs> Still with the tour. Okay. I told y'all, this is kind of a little bit of, you know, I don't speed anything up because I like people to see how things, long things actually take. So. And there's a company. And also, the other thing is, is if you try to edit and speed your videos up at, after a live show, the chat goes away. So.
Okay. Let's get rid of some of this. Torn edges. Some of this out of the way. Okay. Still with the tour? Okay. <laughs> all right. So now let me bring all my ornaments and everything over here. Oh, thanks, Terry. All right. So kind of what I had in mind was kind of like a pile of them. Something like that. Oh, I'm dropping some. And then, and I can put gold and, you know, decorate them up. Something like that. And then have a couple up here. Something like this. And then I wanted at least my big watch in here somewhere. So that could probably go right in here. Something like that. This is my plan right here. I don't know if I need this other bit. Maybe it's just a little mechanics on the doors. Something like this. No, that needs to be over here. This needs to go this way. This one probably too, like that. Something like that. How's that look, guys? How's that look? And then the watch hands will be going in whatever direction I paint them in. Um, hi, D and Vibs here for a bit. I need to go do a little catch up. Okay, Cynthia, thanks for stopping in. Cynthia, do... Do I have your address? For some reason, I, I'm thinking I needed your address. Do I need your address? For some reason, your my, your name is on my mental I need her address list. Thanks, guys. Okay, so something like that. I don't know. Is that too perfect? Might be. All right, so we're going to start now, and I got a couple of extra little, you know, balls here if I need them. I don't know if I need something over here. Yeah, and it's kind of distracting. Yeah, I think I like it like this. And we're going to put in other planets and things and stars. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably, like, put in gold, like, glitter stars. And then I want whooshes. I'll, you'll, I'll show you. I want whooshes coming through this. All right, so let's go ahead and glue this stuff down as a start. And what I do is I use golden matte medium. I'm going to get a little tray here to put some in. So I use golden matte medium, but I put it in a dish soap. This is Sunset Carol's idea. So that you can always have a clean... Um, tip there that never clogs up and you don't ever have to worry about here I'll show you my small one so this is the golden matte medium but if you don't put a, a plastic under the lid you'll glue the lid shut so it's just so easier to pour it in here and use it out of the jaw out of the dish soap I think it'll cause this sent me a beautiful Okay. All right then, Cynthia, because I'm going to send you a uh, thank you. So, it, yeah. Okay. So, let's see. Let me get a, um, I think I need a new paintbrush that is uh, a glue brush. Let me look through my scruffy brushes here. Hang on. I 
don't want something too big, but nah, this will do. Okay, so my, when my brushes get old, I turn them into glue brushes. So this, I'm going to use this one for a glue brush. Then they sit in water. They're the only brushes that sit in water are my glue brushes. All right, so let's start up here. And this is just acrylic paint on, no, not notebook paper, copy paper. So um, it won't move. The red won't move because it's acrylic paint on copy paper. Okay, so let me get everything matte medium down. All right, so as I glue this down, uh, I'm also coating everything with matte medium. So because it's all coated with matte medium, I can put, uh, let me get a card to mash down. I can put a uh, pencil on top of it. And just take a card and, you know, get it all mashed down really well. Oops. Let's go do this one too here. Get a nice base coat. And you really want to put the matte medium on the front and the back of the piece and then mash it all down. Oops, move it. There we go. I watched one of your abandoned castle ones the other day. Oh thank you. And hi stack house cash reacts. <laughs> That's a mouthful right there. Welcome. I think I got a little too much matte medium squeezed out. But. Okay. Here's my baby wipe. Okay. What are you not watching? Oh, Terry took it back. I don't know what she's watching or not watching. Okay, so I'm going to move these, just move these down where I'm going to want them since I already have them in size formation here. And then just put one by one. And if you ever do a, um, a collage layout and you're afraid you're going to forget where you had things and take a picture on your phone and then you can go back and just look at your picture to, you know, re, to replay for, for placement. Oh, I think I wanted this one on top of there. Oh, well, it's not going to be on top now. We'll have it touching. Oh, yeah, I did want to come on in, honey. What's up? Thank you for your mom. Oh, you ordered some ink? Okay, good. Because I got a lot of stuff I need to print out. Thank you. I have a favor of you. Okay. Yeah. I lay on the floor where you trim the hairs on my nose. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> no. Lobster. <laughs> Are you leaving? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's so funny. The things he'll come in here and say because y'all are here. <laughs> okay, this I really I guess I'll have to paint something in right there, a little bit more castle or something. Because I want this 
Uh oh. Oh, he's throwing the toys for the cats. I thought something fell over. <laughs> uh, time about hoarders. Oh, okay. All right. So th this, I'm just going to move off here and just kind of roll with it because it's not in, it's not really that particular. <laughs> and what I'll do is anything that's gone over the edge, I'll just turn, you know, turn it over and cut it. Um, but I got to be careful not to glue my pages shut there. Where the, the glue is overlapping. Maybe I should put a little piece of paper under there, something there. So I don't glue that shut because I've, I've done it before. Glued my book shut. Let's put this. I'm going to want a couple behind it, so I don't want to push that down yet. Oops, let's not glue that to this. All right. All right, I think that's enough. All right, let's mash that down. smeared something right there. Let's get the, I think it's on my card. Okay. Alrighty. Um, ornaments. Yes, ornaments. Yes. <laughs> Terry. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? What do I do with it over here? <laughs> I can't I can't resist this. Hang on, let me get to my soundboard again. And I won't be able to find it quick enough. Ah, uh, there's so many. Probably not going to find the right one. <laughs> That's for your joke, Terry. <laughs> Pretty sure she corrected herself because she knows you make <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Terry. All right, so let's move this before I end up gluing that. Okay, so now I'm going to let me dry it and then I'm gonna cut the edges off here. So hang on. <laughs> Hi, Lynette. Anybody else on this? Yeah, Julie is, uh, she helps vets. Mama four. Looks like a blob right there.
Oh, I'm sorry. You were asking about a specific vet program, Mama. That's all right, Terry. It's fine. Okay. Let's see. Get these bigger scissors. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so now I'm going to cut. So I can cut this upside down. Okay. It's a little more close shave. I'm going to have to turn the book. Oh, that's good. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to put my glue brush and water. I have a, I have a little bucket for glue water brushes. Okay. Smell all this out of the way. Smell this out of the way. I'll just throw this away. I, don't, I just hate to throw it away until I know if I'm not going to need any more glue. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go a little bit more. Let me dry it a little bit. Hi, Becky. Thank you. I'll post it on uh, Twitter, Instagram. I don't usually post these on Facebook, but I post them on Twitter and Instagram. And if any of y'all have Kirian's books, you know, he usually sees that I post from his book. Y'all give his books a shout out. Or if you own one, tell him. Tell me, yeah, I got your, I got abandoned castles, abandoned civilizations, abandoned places, whichever Kyrian book you have. Tell him that you, or follow him on uh, Twitter. There's his, there's his name. Okay, so let's see now. What do we want to do? Take a sip of coffee. So I'm going to want to turn these. I want them to look like ornaments. So I'm also going to... Do I want to put little red dots on the trees? I kind of do. So let's see how I want to draw in the ornament. You know, like do I want to draw with a gold pen? I don't want to ruin a gold pen. Let's try a, let's try to use a uh, gold Posca. Let's see what this will do. Because what I'm wanting to do is I'm gonna want I'm gonna want actual star shapes. Now, or do I just want star shines? Maybe I just want star shines. Yeah, that'll be better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these gold star shines. And, and this is looking pretty good with the Posca. And what I'm going to do is have, I'm going to have a mist coming around them. Look how pretty that looks. That looks really good. <laughs> so I'm going to want a few of these in different sizes. If I get them too fat, I'll just go around it with pencil if I need to. Okay, so I'm going to want to probably about five of them coming around. Let's do one here. This one would probably be the biggest one being the closest. So that's got a little fat, so I'll just kind of, once it dries, I can just knock it back with black pencil. Oh, it's looking pretty. Okay. <laughs> then I think I want a tiny one kind of probably right in here. And 
And then I'm going to want one on a tree. I should have probably put that one on a tree. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And then have, do I want one right here or do I want one right there? That's too much lined up with that one. So I better just put a little one over here. I can always go back over them if I, you know, paint over something or something. Okay, I think I like that. Do I want gold lines coming down? Maybe. All right, I'm going to have to start thinking about some stuff here. All right, let me start doing a little bit of detail. All right, now I want to decide how I want my ornament. I think I'll just put them in like a gold block and then go in and shade. So like, um, let me look at it. Let me, I wanna see the, the, how big they are. Hang on, I'm gonna find a reference. Let me look at let me look up some ornaments. Hang on. I want to get the little uh, I want to get the little um topper. Oh thanks. Thank you, Brandy. I want to get the little topper just right. Um Christmas ornaments. Let's see. Images. Yeah, see, I want to get the little, the way they look. But these are just on the top. I want them, like, not all on the top. But they'd have a little hook on them, like that. Right? Let me see if I can find a pile. Ornament pile. Is there, do you think that would be a thing? Christmas ornament pile? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look, guys, I put in Christmas ornament pile, thinking like a pile of Christmas. <laughs> this is what came up. Who would hang that on a Christmas tree? For real. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Here we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is what I wanted. <laughs> you would create it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, see, this is what I'm wanting another perspective. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is kind of what I wanted here, like this. <laughs> And then I'll I'll shade around it with some darker red. <laughs> oh my gosh! What happens when you 
Oh my gosh. What happens when you let the cats around a tree? This? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. So, <laughs> and actually they, they probably should be silver, but you know, okay. So I'm just going to put a couple more. I want them to kind of show on the edges too. Maybe one down here. <laughs> All right, now I gotta paint some of this out because I want my watch hands to go the way I want them to go. Not, I mean, I might leave those watch hands, can have my watch hands coming from this one. That might be more dramatic. Okay, so let me get a little uh, cream color. Let's get a little cream color. Mm. I'll put a little, a little bit of, come on, are you clogged up? Let me get another one. There we go. You don't have to be too good, but you got to be sort of good, uh, Galena. <laughs> All right, so let's mix up a cream color here because I want to. I want no, it's not dark enough. Let me just add a little black. I need a little cream color, but I don't want to get it too gray. Let, let that dry, then I'll go over it with cream. <clears throat> oh, my booster. Answer me. Hang on. Got to always, if the, if the grands text you, you answer. You take advantage of every time they, they text you. <laughs> Okay, so now I want to do the same thing over here. Let's, two, let's lighten that up a little bit. It's too light. I'm trying to get mat, make a match here. There we go. Because I want my watch hands to go where I want them to go. Hope you have it all. You too. Um, the I finally got an IG account. Oh, Danny girl. Good. All right. What's your name, Danny? What's your name, girl? Or do I, do I think I already follow you? Don't I? Hmm. It's hard for me to remember everybody's because everybody's names are so different on. A little bit more white in there. Just kind of blend it with my finger. It kind of smudges out. Smudge. Smudge. Um, hi, CB. Never miss a chance to connect with the grands. That's right, Cynthia. Um, okay, Danny, girl. It's Danny under denial. <laughs> Danny underscore denial. Okay, let's go over here and look, look you up. Did you post anything yet? Danny underscore denial. Up oh, there you are. Okay. I'm following you. That's a nice hat. Did you make that? Crochet cape. That's nice. There's Danny if y'all want to follow her. 
Danny made a made a uh, IG account. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's, oh, your puppy. Okay, let me look. I just saw the hat. Well, you can't see him. You can't see his face. Girl, you need to fix that. You know what? I'm going to fix it for you right now. I mean, I can't post it for you, but... Okay, so let's see here. Let me go. We're just taking a little moment here, people. All right, so let me go to photos. Edit, crop. I don't know how much I can adjust it, but we're going to try. We're going to try to fix it up a little bit here, Danny. Um, there we go. Now let's do a little sharpening action. Let's sharpen it a little. See, I have to do this kind of thing because people send me all these uh, crap photographs to use for... Um, they always send me these terrible photographs to use in uh, when I do portraits, right? So I have to be able to fix them a little. I can't, you know, I can't fix them when they're real far away. Um, but I can fix them a little. So let's see if we can compare. Let's see if we can compare. compare. Yeah, they do. They do, Terry. I mean, people will send me a little photograph this big. Can you do a do a portrait? Nine and a half by eleven. Here's my picture. Do me a do me a portrait. Nine and a half by eleven. Here, use this. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Oops, let's see that one. All right, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so we're gonna go from. Let me fix this. All right, so here we go. All right, Danny, we went from this. <laughs> this is how you posted it on Instagram. There we go. Is that a little better? <laughs> this is what our dog really looks like. <laughs> you got you got to do a little better than that, Danny. <laughs> just, just saying, just saying, girl. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Debbie. Or I have, you know, people post, um, people post, you know, give me a picture and they have black eyes. And I go, oh, okay, so they have dark brown eyes. No, no, they have blue eyes. You mean they have blue eyes and you want me to just like make up the color of blue? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Let's see where we are. Okay. Um, yeah, I gotta get back to this here. But I mean, and I know they don't know, you know. I mean, I, I it's not like I, I'm mad at them or anything. It's just that when I when I ask them, I said, Well, no, that's not a good enough picture. Well, what do you mean it's not a good enough picture? I mean, it's not a good enough picture to do a portrait from. Well, why not? <laughs> you get that. I'm just saying. Uh <laughs> yeah, I know a little bit, Jeannie. Do have to be a little bit of a mind reader, but you can't make things up. You know, you can't. You know, if I did a picture, a portrait of somebody from a picture about this big, and they have black eyes in the picture, and then I gave it to them, and they said, "But they have blue eyes." Then what are you going to do? Well, sorry, I'm not redoing it. You know, so you can't do that. You have to get it all settled up front. If there's anything you can't see, can't understand, can't discern in the picture that you know that when you go to paint it or draw it or pencil it or whatever, you better get it straightened out right up front because <laughs> you don't want to have to redo it. Okay, so now I am going to get in here with, let me move this big box here. Let 
need some pencils. All right, so I'm going to need black, so I'm going to thin out some of this here. Uh, I'm going to need black, white, a dark red. Tuscan red is my red of choice. Here's red. Um, Tuscan red, black, white. You know, I want, uh, what do I want to do with the trees? I kind of like a little bit of torn edge. I might leave that. I don't know. That one's a little too much, though. Let's see. Maybe a peacock green. And then I've got to decide in the nebula, and I got my, let's see. Do I want a couple other planet, smaller planets? Maybe a couple of green ones because they're like far away. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, so first off, let me sharpen a couple here. I wonder what they would do if you made the portrait. So, well, see, that's the thing. They wouldn't like it. And I never make anybody buy a portrait that I do until they approve it. So I let them see the finished work. And if they don't, I've never actually never had anybody not like it. Because I make sure ahead of time that everything is discussed, even if they might get a little mad at me for re, you know, asking a lot of questions. Well, what shade of blue? Let me see. Do you have a better picture? At least give me a color of the eyes close up or something like that. You know, I, I make sure that before I do a portrait that I have all the information I need. Because that's exactly what I don't want to happen. I don't want them to come back and say, well, that doesn't, you know, that's not the color of their eyes. Or, you know, my dog is, that's, see, like, even when I did Lynn's cat, when Lynn had another picture of her cat, looked so gray in one picture and so calico type brown in the other. So I just asked Lynn, which one is it, Lynn? I, they, they don't go. And she told me, so I did her Milo the way she told me. And she was happy with it. But if I would have just gone and done it gray, she would have said, Milo's not gray. You know, and then it's too late, right? Then it's too late. All right, so I'm just thinning out some of my star shines here where I just kind of got them a little thick on some places. What kind of sharpener? Uh, I don't have any. I have, I have about four or five different kinds or just any kind of metal. I don't even know what brand this is. Probably came with a set of sketch pencils or something. I'm not particular on my, uh, as long as they're sharpening. If, if the blades get dull, now you can like see those little screws. You can replace the blades. To me, these little sharpeners cost like a dollar. I'll just buy a new one. I, I'm not going to all the, I'm not spending 30 minutes replacing those blades. And maybe cutting myself. <laughs> this is me, you know. But if you have a more, you know, a more expensive sharpener, of course you'll you'll probably want to exchange the blades out. But yeah, and let's see. Do I have some? Let's see. Oh, there. Do I have... Let's see. These, got some of these. There's a coom. This is the M and R's. Little little metal ones. My my today's polish. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's go over here. So I want to put a little bit of nebulization in the stars. And then, uh, oh, let me fix this green tree. It's too much, just a little too much raggedy edge. I don't mind a little bit of it. But okay, that's good. Um, so up in the sky, let's see. Not too much because I'm going to paint in some uh, mist coming around, so I don't want this to be too distracting. Polish and pencil sharpeners. Don't we all keep them together? <laughs> well, 
<laughs> this is my handy little just little tray that everything just goes in right there. See. <laughs> <laughs> Do I, no, I think I want the more of the gold there. I don't think I want that there. I think I'll just keep it up here. Okay, then I think I want to go. I think I'll do that with Posca. Let me get a red Posca. Actually, I might put a little red. I think that will be a nice touch inside the star shine. Okay. And the same thing for any ornaments on the trees. I think I'll do that with the Posca too. I'll put the star shines on top. I'll think about that. Like the red touch. Continue on. We'll soldier on here. But I like the way the trees, if you look at them close, see they're from the, the painting of the Leonardo, I mean Leonardo, the um, Van Gogh. So they're already textury. See? Okay, now I'm going to go back with the gold and just put the tiniest. I've got to do something with that little person sitting right there, too. I still got to shade the ornaments. Now we still have a few little fancy bits to do. Hang on. A few more fancy bits. <laughs> yeah, there's a person. It'll be right there. See that little person sitting on the sitting on. I don't even. I don't know if it's a person. I kind of think it might be, but if it's not, we're gonna make it one. <laughs> You'd have to really look to find him. So let me kind of black out some of the background there just a little, and we'll have to do it very tiny. I probably need a gel pen. I'll just white it in and then put black back on it. Like just sitting on that little, probably won't be able to tell, but we'll see. Okay, now with the uh, Tuscan Red, I'm going to start doing a little shading. I won't show up very well, but
<clears throat> goes to Christmas past. It could be the thing about stuff like this, any kind of surrealism type thing. What's nice about it, or what I love about it, is everybody sees something in it different. I mean, two people looking at a dolly painting are going to see two entirely different things. If, you, if they're not talking to each other and discussing it, they go and look at it. And then later, you know, if they wrote down what they thought they saw in there, they'd have two completely different, you know, perceptions. They're going to see different things. Okay, there's another ball right there. I missed that one. You like Ghost of Christmas Past, guys? That's good with the clocks. I like that, Debbie. All right, let's see. Now I'm going to need to do... Let's go up here. Now... So these are the details. This is my, the funnest part for me. And that's when I'm in my head going, shh, 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 and imagining different details. But that's the most time consuming. <laughs> if, I, if I let it be, you know. Okay, let's go a couple more. Let's see. <clears throat> Sharpen. Dolly probably saw something different each time he looked at his work. <laughs> yeah, probably right, Julie. And you can do that, you know. I mean, I'll go back and see things that I said, oh, yeah, that, that kind of, at least it may not change, but it will remind you of something else. You know, you'll think of something else. All right, now, let's see. I need some... I don't know how if the, the I got this proportion right on these ball uh, toppers, you know, but it's okay. You get the idea. Hi, Sharon. How you doing? I could probably do this better with the... Paint. Okay, let's see. All right. 
Now, I'm going to decide on my watch hands. And I still think I need gold dripping down from here. Where's my mask? I don't know, that might be a little too much gold drippage. But I think I want to do some gel pen on it to make it sparkly. You know? All right, now my, let's see, I think I'll do a gold edge on the, this watch. I'll let that set up and put a shadow under it. Because this is the one that's going to have the arms. Okay, where's my white? Just to get it straight. Let me tilt it a little because it's a little, there we go. It's a little flashed out. It's kind of busy, guys. This is like a little much, I think. This right here, I don't know. It's a little much. Um, I might have to paint some of this out. That's too much. Let's see. Where's that black? Here. And pop some more stars on there. And less gold. Just do a few little gold highlights. Not that, not this thick. Um, does gel pen show up well? Cause color pencil does on paint. Um, well, not fo doesn't photograph. It, it shows. I can see it when I put it on there, but it won't photograph sparkly. Unless you, the only way you can really do photographs with to show the sparkle is if you could take it a second picture at an angle or you can, I mean, take any picture of it at an angle so that you see the shine. But I usually don't do that. I usually don't double up on my pictures. I have a couple times, but yeah, not very often. So I'm just getting rid of some of the gold. Make it a little more subtle. You could have added different colors and made it a water bottle. Yeah, I, I know. Um, one of the things that I like to do with mine is have a color theme. So I try to keep it like red and, like red and green and gold. It's all over something. What is this? Hmm. Denise is messaging me something. Oh, Oh, I, I I showed her this thing on, uh, this was on Facebook this morning. I don't know who posted it, but I'll just show it to y'all. You'll see that. <laughs> and Denise messaged me and said, that looks like Oliver. <laughs> y'all get it? Can you see it? <laughs> <laughs> all right so there's a little bit uh, it's a little flashed out but let's see all right um now i do want to put a little bit more stars and i got to do my um watch hands here so hang on where's my little bucket of stars here we go let's add on yeah it might still have enough water in it let's get us i don't know what i do with my soft brush let's get another one here a fluffy brush 
dip it in that water here. About the only place I really don't want this more stars is on the castle itself. So. I'll put this down. Yeah, my little guy kind of got lost in there. It was a little too little, I think. All right, now. Let's see, where's my baby wine? Let's get it off the. Yeah, I, I'm going to leave it just like it is. There's a little blue dot right there, and you can kind of see the little guy there. I don't know if anybody else will spot it, but okay. All right, let me take a minute to dry this, and then I'm going to put my watch hands. It does go everywhere, um, stacks. It does go everywhere. Is that, would you rather call it a cash? What, do you, what would you like to be called? Stacks, cash, or another name? There's a color right there. It's a little flash that way. Here, wait a minute. Let me put that little book. What am I do with that book I have? Popping things. Oh, here it is. Let's prop this up just a little, just so you can have the glare not there. <laughs> um, so far, mine have, um, I don't have, I have a few glass ornaments, but I didn't put those around the bottom. So around the bottom of the tree, I have uh, like those glitter fake glittery well they're real glittery but you know they're not glass they won't break and every morning though a couple of those and some of my netting because i made all those big bows with netting they'll be on the floor but they haven't tried to knock uh oh thanks terry they haven't tried to knock the tree down Okay, so I have a couple more things to do. I have some whoosh, some whoosh to do, and my and my and my watch hands. Okay, so let's see. I got a ruler here. All right, so I got to decide. I think I want this one to go up to the star here. So what I'll do? Go behind that ornament. And I'll make it a little thicker and put a shadow under it. And then the other one, I think I want to go to this one. So I'll probably need to get rid of that gold. There's my line of sight. So that means I got to get rid of this gold. <clears throat> so I'm just going to paint it out. This will be thick enough so that that'll get rid of that gold. All right. I'll put a shadow under it. I pick up I pick up some paint on the pasta. Let me get over here on my get it going again. To get it crusted up with paint.
going to get right in there. It's going to look a little off right in the ditch. Computer's working. Oh, good. <laughs> You've been working on it all morning, for goodness sake. All right. Now I need, I think I'll do red. I think I'll do a red shadow. It has to be dark red here. Got to fix that. It's a little wonky here. I'll knock that back. I'll do that in a minute. I might go over it with lime green. Lime green might be a good color on here. Let's see about doing that. Oh, see what I just did? See, that wasn't dry. This is why you want to draw your stars. You'll smear them. Let's have one shooting star right there. <laughs> All right, let me let me hit it with the heat gun again. I smeared some more down here. I've got to fix that with black. What time is it? Oh, we're good. All right, a little bit more. Give me a little bit more detail here. Because, like I said, this is the stuff I could sit here for another hour or two. And I have done that on occasion. And i got to do my mist. Green. Hmm. I don't have a lime green pasta. <clears throat> I 
Okay. All right. Now I got to do a little bit of mist. This is where it can go bad. <laughs> this is where it can go all wrong. I'm going to put a little bit of a glow right around where that guy is sitting. Maybe someone will notice him sitting there. <laughs> okay, what about the hook things? No, I'm not going to put hooks. No, I'm not putting hooks in them. <laughs> There's no, they're not hanging on anything. They're hanging on the stars. So I'm not going to put any hooks in the, in the, in the little loops, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. <clears throat> no hooks in space. Yeah. <laughs> no, no hookers in space, Terry. <laughs> All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some white. No, uh, with no uh, water in it here. <laughs> hey there, Stephanie. I got to catch up on your video. I saw you had a new one too. Okay. So now I'm going to mash mash the white paint into the baby wipe damp baby wipe now here's where i have to decide where my um whooshes are going to go so what i'm imagining is it's kind of coming in and out of the tree across the page so let's see here Okay, a little more right here. Okay. Okay. Oh, you two magic wizards, you have two Stephanies. Oh, okay. Yeah, Leather and Jade is Stephanie. All right, let me dry this and let's see what we got here. up a couple little things here and go around around this okay and then I need I want a little bit more white I want to define just a little bit more on these on the whoosh so I'm going to come across just to brighten it up just a little in a couple places Like right at the stars, you know. Like that. Okay, what do y'all think? How does it look? I mean, there's I'm sure there's little areas that I could tweak. But uh, for a couple hours, I guess it turned out pretty good. Oh, I'm sorry. What? The whoosh? Dee Dee, not D Oh, I didn't even see you put D fee. And if you did, <laughs> oh, so that's okay. I totally, uh, it's a typo. 
Um, here she would tell Dee Dee to stickle the ball. Yeah, well, you know what? I could put some glitter on. I don't really like to put stickles on the pages because stickles could, if I have stickles here and stickles here, that could make the pages stick. Um, but I could put, uh, you know, gel. Let, let's get the red, let's get the red uh, jelly pen here. Let's get the red one. We can put a little with the gel pen. <laughs> well, I mean, if I spent even more hours, I might even look. Now, the thing about this is even if I put these red, the red here, you're not going to be able to see that on camera. I mean, on photograph. So you guys are the only ones that are going to see it. When I tilt it to the side, hang on, I'll do some of the balls with a little bit of it too. The, the uh, ornaments on the trees, I mean. Um, you're going to, you're going to be the only ones that can really see the, uh, glitter. Because <laughs> it won't photograph, right? Okay, so let me... Hang on, guys. I'm getting there. I'm not doing every ornament. I'm just doing, like, random ones. Okay. Put some of the jewels in the 23 jewel watch thing there. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, let's put a little bit up in here. All right, now let me tilt it so you can see. Oh, stickles here. Yeah, it's no, but it's just, um, see if you can see it in the ornament. See, see the little bit of the. Um, where else? There you go. See it in the in the ornaments there? In the stars. Let's see if you can see it in these stars here. I'm trying to tilt it so you can see the glitter. But I think we're we're the only ones that's gonna know the glitter's there. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, I think we're going to call that one done. I'll take a picture of it, and I'll, I'll tweet it and uh, Instagram it. Thanks, guys. You can add a drop shadow for the trees on the black pair. Well, I don't know. I think it's got enough. It's there. <laughs> look, at, look at all that. It's a little busy as it is. I don't think we need any more drop shadows. Because then if I do that, if I put drop shadows under the trees, it's going to be a tangent going this way. You got this going this way. You got these going, and you know, I think it's got enough going on. <laughs> but yeah, creative, I know. All right. Well, I think I'm going to head out, guys. Go get me. Uh, oh, I think I'm going to go make me an olive loaf sandwich. <gasps> yes. And then still make it to Janet. Janet, are you going to go on early?
It's only a little after 11. Janet usually doesn't come on till one, but sometimes we can talk her into going on early. Y'all think we can talk her into it coming on early? Let me go make a sandwich on first, Janet. Give me five minutes. I always miss your hauls because you always show them at the very beginning. And then I have to go back and find it later because I miss the hauls at the beginning. You're welcome, CB. You think, Eileen, can you talk Janet into streaming early? Add a cat. Um, I could add a couple of little white cat heads peeking out, right? That would be good. I don't know. I don't know if I have any tiny cat head. <laughs> we have enough cats on all the other ones, don't we? <laughs> Thanks, Julie Topaz. Jan Dini said you have to go on now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, five minutes. Give me five minutes so make me a sandwich. Take a picture. <laughs> all right, guys. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for all the thumbs up, guys. Yeah, give me a thumbs up on your way out. Yeah, just click the little thumbs up. And if you don't follow me, ring my bell because <laughs> then you'll get notifications. But I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and the occasional Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern. Thanks, guys. I hope you had fun. We're going to try to do a bunch of Christmas stuff all in December. Color book pages, ornament, you know, something, right? And I, and I will show you uh, the ones that I'm finishing up, the tags. As soon as I finish the tags, I'll show you all a picture, you know, at least take a picture of them before I mail them. All right, guys. Y'all have a great day. Thank you, newbie. Thanks, faithful. Y'all have a great day. Bye.